game three set. Um, but yeah, let's see how Abadango do, does here against Kameme. I'm yeah. sure they've played a ton, mm -hmm. being from the same region and all. Although that doesn't necessarily mean that they've played a ton, because I know Abadango like works more than plays Smash nowadays. Mm -hmm. But obviously, he's got so much experience over the years, you know, since Brawl, maybe even before that, that your fundamentals are good enough to elevate you to a position such as this one right now. Right, and uh, of course we do also have Raito and Sue. I believe they're going to be on the other side winner seven. You know, J oh Team Japan God. all top <laughs> four, I believe. In what, el what else can you expect here, man? Team yeah. Japan two OP. Let's get the kick in here with game number one. It's going to be Wario versus Palutena. Yeah, uh, I feel like Wario in general is just a very strong character, especially over in Japan. You know, both Zachary and Kamehameha look like they want to be using this character, and I think in general, a lot of people see the potential of that character I in that he, region. I think he has the makings of a top five character for sure. I mean, he has the results. Uh, both of these characters actually very strong within that like top ten to fifteen at least. Mm -hmm. Like, so let's see, a lot of damage being received by Kamehameha right now. Ninety-two. That's not necessarily the worst thing in the world because he can heal some health back there right there by eating um, items such as his bike and uh, he also has the potential for very early kills with the waft let's see if he's going to use it or save it for some of the later stocks mm -hmm. i think both of these characters they kind of just cut scene each other you know like yeah. Palutena gets 30 percent sure. with nares and wario gets 30 percent with a falling nair into up air up air so both these two are just going to be destroying each other and then it's going to be a matter of who takes the kill first and they can steamroll that Woo! victory right now looks like abadango's taking that first stock with that up smash tech chase on the platform actually no tech coming from kamehameha yeah that time around that was a really tough spot for Kamehameha because at that point like it really was just on Abadango to react with that up smash he could have like teched in place rolled to the left rolled to the right and he probably would have gotten killed either way as long as uh, Abadango's reaction was on point mm -hmm. and I do think we are seeing Abadango with the Palutena being able to exploit one of Wario's weaknesses I think the biggest weakness he has and he had the same thing as Smash 4 is that his range not exactly the best you know his legs are still kind of stubby that neutral air not the biggest hitbox in the world so you see that he's trying to approach with those aerials but Abadango's just putting himself in a safe position where he can just go ahead and punish those types of uh, approaching aerials immediately. Absolutely. Here's a grab from Abadango. He's really taking this second stock away, about to lap Kamehameha percent, and just as I say it, he does it, man. Alright, still on the chase. Yeah, Wario's speed, not the greatest, but still he's going to be able to keep up. Uh, Palutena is just kind of moving all over the place, making it difficult for Wario really to do his job. Yeah, he doesn't have too much like speed, as you mentioned, but one thing he is really strong at is the fact that he has a lot, like really good drift. Mm -hmm. um, so he's able to kind of weave in and out to avoid combos or, or, or maintain a little bit of safety. Yep. All right, bikes at the ledge. Oh, I love that. The teleport cancel. That gives Abadango an opportunity to be able to land, and he's able to reversal the situation potentially. Ooh, okay. Interesting option coming from Abadango. He knew that Kamehameha had to up B at that point, but good on Kamehameha to delay that recovery, not get hit by the counter. And he finally takes the stock right there with the dash attack. Yeah, raw dash attack. Doesn't even need the down tilt to set it up, but still, I mean, <laughs> the way it's looking might be a little bit difficult unless he can get that WAF to really turn the tide. Absolutely. One neutral air into an up air, falling up air, anything like that could and definitely seal the stock out right now and that's the thing man abadango's got to be really careful right now kameme looks to be at such a big deficit but this is an even game right here at 36 percent he definitely still has the waft he hasn't used it unfortunately he lost the stock there to explosive flame but he can still get that stock if he can get a couple more percent so another few neutral exchanges he can get that stock and even it out with the waft mm -hmm. all the weight try to look for something there not quite gonna be able to find it yeah he's trying to figure out how to get Abadango to react with something, but he's just not quite giving him the bait that he wants. He's doing a still a good job of being able to let trap him. Yeah, still, even with getting hit by the Nair, it is pretty uh, low hit stun at these early percents. So going to be able to be just fine. Another opportunity, but yeah, Abadango just stays back. He doesn't want to risk any tech roll ins and while Kamen is waiting there, be able to get a whap or something like that. Ooh, beautiful keep neutral going with the combo, yeah. Picking it up with the up air and getting the forward tilt at the ledge. Only 23 on per... Uh, percent on Kameme now dead even game but here comes Abadango putting him off stage juggling up into the air okay resources were spent right there too so not too much of a punish from Abadango luckily for Kameme yeah but still there's a lot I was talking about before both these two kind of just destroy each other Wario is doing really good with the ledge trapping Abadango you know keeping up that advantage position staying underneath Wario was able to keep that up for a very long time and still keeping him at the ledge trying to make sure that he does not retain center stage but a great tech chase situation gets a dash attack 
Is he able to find anything? Ooh. No, just air dodge away. Yeah. No risk from Tech Chase in into the WAF. That's yeah. going to be curtains for Abadongo if that lands. And, and, and Kameme was like ready to react as well because you see he got that forward air and he just stood there waiting for the reaction from Abadongo. And oh my god, the waft at the ledge, I blinked for a second, but he must have done a neutral get up or something like that. He like dropped Stop down jump read. aerial and then it like didn't reach or something like that, or something with low hit stun and then it just obliterated him. So Common Man's gonna clutch that out. I mean, we gotta consider that, of course, in the story of Smash 4, Abadongo was always known as the best Japanese player, especially because he was the one that came to the US most often, but Common Man, in this game, he's one of the four people that's won an S tier tournament. And that being Umabu, a Japan major nice. over back in Japan. So we got to consider that maybe the, there's going to be a new king uh, over there beyond the sea. So this is going to be an extra interesting game coming up next. Going back to Pokemon Stadium 2, Sedge. I feel like Kameme did such a good job of conserving his waft. I mean, he literally did not use it until the very final stock. Now that that game has transpired, I mean, he's got a lot of data collected here from, from Abadango, so let's see if, if he's able to keep it even, or even get a lead and extend that, build mm -hmm. upon that. Yeah, I think the big thing from Kamehameha was that he didn't try to overextend himself when he knew that he had the deficit. He just kept his resources and waited for the exact time where he knew it would be pretty much guaranteed that he was going to be able to get a kill or right. a conversion off of that. So just the mental resilience that Kamehameha exuded in that first game was definitely very impressive yeah and just also the better veteran experience for sure because a lot of like more novice warios will expend that waft like prematurely just yeah you know trying to get that ko mm -hmm. but here we got still even stocks again kameme trailing in percent abadango doing a really good job of walling out kameme yeah that time kameme kind of showing that okay i'm catching that you're doing tech uh tech roll away this is what in with the dash tag got a little bit extra damage potentially with keeping the ledge control too He's going to do just that. The bike is in the way too, potentially eating up the hitboxes that Abadango wants to throw out. And doing just that, you saw it, it ate up the fair, and then Kamehameha went in for the punish and keeping up the ledge control here. Okay, neutral air from Abadango, sending Kamehameha off stage. No ledge trap though, what a beautiful read right there from Kamehameha. Yeah. Getting the waft, again, this time on the first stock. Uh, he is trailing in percent, and a down throw to Rar Bear is going to do the trick, just equalizing the stocks. Mm -hmm. Got a trip there, not going to be able to do anything with it. But yeah, these two, very close in percent right now. Definitely showing that both these two kind of know how each other play, and then they're figuring out how they're going to get those kills and keep things as close as possible right now. Yeah, you can see Abadango just spacing out these forward airs, and so is Kameme. Mm -hmm. All right, stuck in the jab. Tried to land with a falling neutral air, or uh, up air, excuse me. All right, another oh. potential combo. Ooh. There we go. What's the juggle going to be? Ah, uh, does not wait out, and actually is going to be used that there to the land yeah and it's it, so far I mean it, it, it makes sense that for the majority of the set so far that Kameme has been playing from behind um, Palutena does have the range advantage I mean they have very similar forward airs and then they in that they throw out their leg mm -hmm. but you know she, Palutena she's a, a beautiful lady she's got <laughs> a, a long long lovely legs man and then we got the you know, the little elf boots off on Wario. <laughs> Both of these two still trying really close. Was hoping for a potential hitbox, hitbox uh, cheesiness happening with the with the bite. Not quite going to be able to find anything. Throws the bike. Keeps up his advantage here. What's he going to do? All right, just goes for the grab. I like that. Uses the bike to make him go into shield on the neutral getup and then just go immediately with the grab. Great coverage coming from Kameme. Okay, so much pressure coming out from Kameme at the ledge here. Keeping Abadongo stuck and landing on him with a back air. Taking that KO once again. Uh-oh. Yeah, it's really tough to get that conversion, especially by the ledge, because you don't have any room to move forward. Right. Well, let's see how long Kameme can survive for. Because both of these two have been going back and forth on the stocks. But if he can keep up the lead here, that could potentially be it. The back throw probably will be able to set up something. Not going to be able to get the kill quite yet. Let's see what he does here. Oh, the back air doesn't come out. That's a big opportunity for Kamehameha. <laughs> falling up there, but he gets it anyway on the platform. And the waft is definitely looking deadly right now. You can see Wario just glowing right now. 177% too with all that rage. I mean, he was dead like 20% ago. Yep. Ooh, that's oh, that's it. it. Yep. yep. Just true conversion, the up tilt into the waft. And Kamehameha up 2-0 now. This is winner semi, so we are playing best of fives moving forward. And uh, yeah, he, Kameme just one short game away from a 3-0 victory here against Abadango. I mean, it, it's looking like a shutout, 
but in terms of the actual games themselves, they, they are very much like respecting each other and going back and forth in terms of neutral exchanges. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a two stock for Kamehameha that time around, but let's see. I mean, I, I believe in Abadango's ability to adapt as equally as Kamehameha has been doing so far. And he actually switches to Joker, so this is going to be interesting. Yep, another popular character overseas. Um, you know, Zachary just, as soon as Joker was out, won a tournament with the character, for crying nice. out loud. And we saw Sue using Joker earlier as well, but let's see how this goes. I feel like the game is going to be a little bit different, and we see immediately just the Ooh. big combos coming in, oh, and yeah. Arsene is already available. He's like, you know, if Arsene is available in the first 20 seconds, you're probably getting... <laughs> messed up right, right now. Yeah, it's kind of a saving grace for him, especially because of how like big the hitbox is, how much more damage he does. Uh, he took about 70%, but he had Arsene, so now he can actually make up that percentage much quicker. Mm -hmm. and you can see it's about even right now. Even might be in Joker's favor at this point. Yeah, but Meteor's almost gone. Yep, it's going to be expended there. Going to throw him off, and let's see what the ledge play is going to be here. Actually catches him with there, but amazing tech. Great recognition from Abadago recognizing that he was going to fly over to exactly. inward on the stage. Yeah, I almost for a split second thought he was going to fly straight into the blast zone. Had it sent him the other direction, it was a certain KO. Mm -hmm. Beautiful delay on the grapple right there too. To um, With Joker, you can actually delay the grapple. You, you press up whenever you want to get that. So sometimes you want to delay it to avoid the edge guard attempts. Whoa, okay. I thought that was about to kill. And Arsene's available again. I mean, looking oh. kind of bad. And yeah, that's going to be the kill right you there. You rarely see that kill, but the chomp will take it that time. And Kameme up three stocks to two now. Yeah, I think oh. he's just been recognizing Abadango's been doing a lot of neutral getup in oh, the shield. Oh, been no. scared on the ledge. Arsene available again, man. And all of it has just been pretty much from damage. Kameme kind of messing up Abadango's Joker right here. Even the Persona oh. is not going to help right now. Oh, man. He's trying to get that up tilt to waft right here at the ledge. All right, neutral air, not going to get caught. Abadango still trying to get this first stock. He's already taken 88%. What's right. the edge guard? All right, Tetra Karn does it. Going to be able to hit that no-tech situation. Yeah, really great option. I mean, it comes out so fast, and the counter actually lasts a, a pretty decent amount of time. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and I think that's a pretty high multiplier compared to all the other yeah, counters, it's, right? Yeah, it's so. really, really strong. Mm -hmm. All right, Waft is available, though, Ooh. coming from Kamehameha. But he's probably going to save it until that next stock, you know, time. because he's got plenty of time, plenty of room to try and take the damage off of Joker. Yeah, and it really it, it really benefits him to do that because, um, say he were to lose the stock right here and he had already used the uh, waft, he would have a much harder time on the on the last stock being down two stocks. Mm -hmm. I really like what Kamehameha is doing, not really trying to force the kill here. He knows he's got the lead. Oh, oh great yep. fair. That's Ooh. an amazing edge guard there. But yeah, he knows that he doesn't have to force anything, so he's just waiting for Apadango to pick an option, and he just oh, does an aerial out oh, of shield. No. This is potentially bad, but Ooh. Arsene is able to come in and yeah. interrupt that flow of the combo there. That was a great... Uh, Rebe Rebellion's guard, or Rebel's guard, is frame 3. comes out frame 3, so does the uh, Tetra Karn. Um, so that was really good recognition from Apadango to avoid a KO. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what happens here. Oh, trying to look for that up to almost got it there too. Yeah, again, he's coming in, not really forcing anything here. He knows that he can keep up this lead. He doesn't have to do anything, but the up air almost looking like it could potentially get the KO, but that's a big potential combo. Not going to get anything there. All right, Kamehameha looking to take this set cleanly 3-0. Oh, the tech chase up tilt into the wall, and that's how it goes 3-0 for Kameme knocking down his Japanese brother into the loser's bracket yep I mean that's one of those Woo! things it's just that <laughs> it looked like that Abadango was always either air dodging away or